This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 19th of February. I'm Michael Groff. Big concern in the short term will be the freezing temperatures expected around here tonight and tomorrow morning. Then after that, a major winter storm comes to the southwestern United States bringing low elevation snows and rain across the area. Just how much rain will we get? Will we see any snow? How cold will it get? Lots of questions. Let's find some answers. First, the almanac from yesterday, only 55 degrees was our high, 43 the low, and that occurred at 11.59 p.m. And we picked up four hundredths of an inch of rain yesterday. A few spots saw a little bit of what they call grouple around here. Where I come from, we just called that snow. Uh, but yes, there was some hail, a little ice, a little snow yesterday in a few spots in and around the metro area, believe it or not. All right, outside right now here just after 8 o'clock, we've got mostly sunny skies starting out at 37 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 34, humidity 87%. The winds are light and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning, upper 20s in places like Fort McDowell. We're starting to warm up just a little bit, though, but most of us are still in the 30s. The upper air look across the country, the trough that has brought the unsettled conditions is now moving off to the east. In its wake, cold air around here and a big mess for the rest of the country. We see that on the watch warning map. Pretty much whatever kind of advisory you want, it's out there. Flood and flash flood watches from Arkansas eastward through much of the mid and deep south. We've got winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings from the Pacific Northwest through the Four Corners, the Rockies, the Plains, the Midwest, even into the Northeast. And yes, we have a freeze warning in effect for tonight from uh, 11 p.m. this evening through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And a hard freeze warning for some of the higher elevations and certainly parts of Pinal County, Gila County. So it is going to be a very cold night. We'll detail that in just a moment. Convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe storms for Louisiana and some of the adjacent states there into the Mississippi Delta. And precipitation valid through next Tuesday morning coming from the WPC. Rain amounts here in the valley between about eight tenths of an inch and an inch and a quarter or so. Your amount will vary just a bit. Certainly the favored upslope areas will get more. And of course, you see very heavy precipitation totals. Most of that will come in the form of snow for the rim country and much of northern Arizona. And we'll detail all of that now as we take a look at the models. Here we go to the GFS. This is the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. The upper look at about 18,000 feet. There's our cold upper trough moving through the southwest and out into the Plain States in its wake, that cold air, as I mentioned. So down at the surface today, mostly sunny skies with subsidence air. We shouldn't see too many clouds. Highs this afternoon, despite the sunshine, will only get into the mid-50s. So we'll be at least 15, 17, 18 degrees below our climatological averages for the date. Tonight, clear skies and with a relatively dry air mass and light winds, we should see temperatures drop off into the mid-20s in the cold spots, low 30s in the urban core. So a freeze pretty much area-wide. And so if you have plants, you're going to want to cover them. Take the pets indoors. A hard freeze expected in the higher elevations. So keep that in mind as well. And then tomorrow, a cold start to the day, mostly sunny, but then we'll start to see some clouds increase late in the day as our Pacific weather system approaches us. And so highs tomorrow, again, only in the mid-50s. Wednesday night, a chance of showers will come in. And then for Thursday, here comes that system, lots of cold air aloft. Now, there's not an abundance of atmospheric moisture with this, but because the air is so cold and because there's so much uh, in terms of dynamics with this system, it's going to be an efficient rain producer. And so, and snow for that matter. So we'll see widespread rain, heavy at times Thursday, cloudy skies, high temperatures. We'll struggle to get to the 50 degree mark here in Phoenix. We'll be around 20 degrees below average. And with that 100% chance of rain, and that'll continue into Thursday night. Now, those snow elevations should start out on the higher side, probably around four to 5,000 feet. But by Thursday night, the snow levels continue to fall to around 3,500 to 4,000 feet. And then Friday, our forecast turns quite intriguing, all right? We've got this very cold upper trough that briefly stalls out over the area. Cold air advection begins to come in, so those snow levels continue to fall to around 3,000 feet, maybe just a little bit lower than that. And so big snows for places like Payson and Flagstaff, one to two foot totals would not be uh, an uncommon thing to see there. And even down to 3,000 feet, yes, you could get snow accumulations. Las Vegas, you're going to get snow from this storm system. Uh, here in the valley, a few spots will see some flakes flying. Or you could get some hail from this Friday as we turn to more of a convectively driven environment. 
So for Friday, our forecast is going to call for showers likely with a slight chance that we could see some snow showers across the area because if you get under one of those convective showers uh, or thunderstorms, you could get snow down to about 2,000 feet, maybe even below that. So we'll watch for it. Highs will struggle to get out of the 40s all day on Friday. Now, let me show you what some of the model output says about snow because we've had some questions about it. This isn't something that we normally talk about around here. Here's the deterministic European run, and it's got snow across much of northern and eastern Maricopa County. Look at those totals up around Payson. I mean, over 20 inches of snow there, uh, 16, 18 inches for Flagstaff. But even northern Maricopa, Wickenburg, snow. Uh, places up on the McDowell Mountains might see some snow. So that's that run. Here's the Canadian model. Yesterday it was showing some snow for pretty much the entire area. It's backed off on that idea, but still the mountains of northern and eastern Maricopa County, the higher elevations, yep, snow there. And this is the European ensemble output. And the ensemble still has snow for a, a sizable portion of the area. Not the entire metro, but certainly the northern and eastern portions uh, could get a dusting, uh, maybe actual measurable snow i i don't think we're going to get any here at phoenix or at sky harbor airport but north scottsdale and and the areas that i've mentioned previously any anybody above 2,000 feet could get at least a little bit we will see and obviously the details will get hammered out as we get closer to the event all right by friday night we'll start to see a tapering off of rain and snow and then saturday looks like the sun comes out we'll call it partly sunny but still cool Lows will be down in the 30s, highs low to mid 50s. Sunday will get close to 60 thanks to more sunshine. And then Monday, we've got another trough that's going to pass north of us. So the heights continue to be a little bit below average, but we'll still continue the warm up with highs in the low, maybe even mid 60s. Tuesday should be mid and upper 60s. This is a week from today, the 26th. And then going all the way out 10 days to the end of the period, this is Thursday the 28th, the last day of February, and that looks like a ridge in here. So we go from upper heights on Thursday and Friday around 536 decameters here in Phoenix to nearly 580 decameters next week or above that. So that means high temperatures are going to go back up into the 70s. If that verifies, we will see. All right, checking out the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and I think... The ensemble is too warm, believe it or not, for Thursday and Friday. We'll probably see highs close to 50 Thursday, upper 40s to near 50 Friday. And then the warm-up takes place as we get toward the month of March. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. And your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe out there and have yourselves a great Tuesday.